Today I'm going to review this Poetry for Neanderthals card game. Now this is an actually it includes not just cards, but also includes a timer, it includes a little plastic bat that is inflatable that you're going to blow up, and then of course has the rules and everything inside. Now let me go ahead and show you exactly how to play this game. When you're playing Poetry for Neanderthals, you're actually going to divide up into two teams. And then you're going to take turns, one team at a time, trying to get points. Now, as you can see here, there are one point, three points, and negative one point. And then you get negative one points if you break any of the rules of the game. And you get one point if you get the one point card. So in this one, it would be potato. And you get three points if you get the three point card, which would be mashed potato. Now there is this little timer up here that's going to give you time. And you just continue to go through as many cards as possible, trying to get your team to guess them. However, why it's called poetry for Neanderthals is you can only talk like a Neanderthal would. So you are trying to use words to describe, let's say potato, you might say, grow out ground brown ground veg things like that okay so you're going to try and talk like a neanderthal so then if they can be able to guess potato you can either put it onto the one point thing or you can also try and then get to them to guess the next one which is going to be mashed potatoes again only talking like a neanderthal how this inflatable bat is actually a fun little addition to the game so someone from the other team is going to stand behind you and if you say something or talk like something a neanderthal wouldn't say or talk like then they are going to be able to gently tap you with the bat i say gently because my family is sometimes not the best at gently tapping with the bat if you do break any of the rules or you accidentally say the word or something like that, then it will go into the oops. That gives you a negative one point. And then you just go on to the next card. So say bug. So you might say buzz round me head, something like that, okay? Trying to get them to guess the word bug. And then lightning bug would be a 3.1. If you choose to skip a card, which you can, then that will also be a negative one point. And then if you get bug, but you don't want to try for lightning bug, then you just put it down at the one point and then you go toward to the next card. Again, you have a certain amount of time. So until the timer runs out, I believe it's 30 seconds or so. And then you add up how many points that you had on your turn. And then you're just going to go back and forth between the two teams collecting points. What you're going to do is you're just going to go back and forth alternating between the teams seeing how many points you receive at the end of after everyone on each team has taken one turn or as many turns as you determine then the game is over you're going to add up the points that you have as a team and then you will know which team is the winner one last thing i did want to mention about this game you're only allowed to talk in one syllable words again poetry for Neanderthals. So when describing bug, you're not going to say a massive, again, because it's more than one syllable. You could say bug bite, or you can't say the word bug, but you could say bite my knee, land on me, that sort of thing when you're describing it. So it can only be one syllable words like a Neanderthal would talk about. Overall, definitely a fun game. I would say the best ages for this game are probably going to be eight plus as it's relatively easy to get, um, figure out what these words are. And But the hard part is making sure you don't say long words, that sort of thing. The other thing is to just make sure that you are careful with hitting with a little, little inflatable bat.